In today's video, I'll be giving you guys a breakdown of the Microsoft Copilot event, allowing you to understand exactly what you need to know. Microsoft recently celebrated its 50th anniversary with some exciting announcements showcasing the incredible power of AI and the potential of its Copilot tools. From streamlining your daily tasks to enhancing productivity, Copilot is actually really good now. And you probably don't want to miss out on this video so you can stay up to date with the latest AI trends. So let's jump right in. So this is where you're about to see Microsoft kick off their event with a fascinating demonstration, rebuilding their very first product using modern AI tools, specifically GitHub Codespaces and Codepilot Agent. This demonstration was intended to show just how crazy the improvement has gotten and how AI has brought radical changes to software development, significantly reducing the time from weeks to mere minutes. Monetized when CEOs can start wipe coding. Um, but in all seriousness, this is not just a cool party trick, it's transformational. It's empowering, it's unleashing human ambition, and it's happening now. In fact, I'm excited to share that the capability I just showed with Agent Mode is rolling out to all VS Code users starting today. We now have autonomous AI agents or peer programmers who can collaborate with us to anticipate our needs and help us think more creatively. And it does not stop there. We are bringing full MCP support to agent mode. We're also launching code review agent today to fix and find bugs automatically. We're also making it easier than ever before for developers to build their own agents in Foundry. Uh, think of it like an agent factory. It's a production line for intelligence. Tens and thousands of organizations are using Foundry to build their own agents. And today, we're going further. We now have a new agent framework for building multi-agent systems. Uh, but building agents is just the very beginning. We're also building tools for all the evals, fine-tuning, observability, and feedback. And you'll also have a red teaming agent and tools to measure code vulnerabilities. All of this in support of building trustworthy AI systems. There's much, much more to come. Watch now this is where we get into the Copilot main event. This is where Mustafa Suleiman introduces the concept of an AI companion, Copilot. Now first, what he shows us is a particularly funny and engaging use of Copilot. Here's something that took me personally way out of my comfort zone. My brother and his wife are super busy with their new baby, and my eight-year-old nephew's birthday party is coming right up. And so on the phone one evening, I just blurted it out. Hey, bro, why don't I organize the party? <laughs> Go for it, he said with a cheeky chuckle. And then I put the phone down, and I was like, what on earth did I just agree to? I have absolutely no idea where to begin. I know that I'm many things, but unfortunately, a kid's birthday party planner is not one of them. And so, of course, I start by searching for ideas. What's a good theme? Do we need a venue? How do I even find one? Should we dress up? Are clowns cool, or are they a little bit weird? <laughs> I've literally got no idea. And life is too short for endless scrolling and 25 open tabs. So I make a call. Hey, co-pilot, where do I begin? Don't worry, I got you. I'd recommend picking a theme first. Copilot just cuts right through the chaos and gets to the heart of what you need. It's grounded in web links, so you can always reliably look things up whenever you want. Bang, dinosaurs. OK, excellent theme. That's a good start. Now with Copilot's new search capabilities, you can get mini magazine style cards made just for you on any topic that you care about with text, images, videos, and maps built right in. So when I'm looking for a venue, it makes comparing those options super easy. In the future, I think many user interfaces will be created just like this, personalized and dynamically generated right there on the fly. Exactly what you need, in the way you like it, just when you want it. So that was really fascinating. He talks about how in the future, content may be dynamically generated to the preferences of each individual user. And I think that this is really interesting because the way how we consume content over time is quite likely to change with the advent of AI. Now he also shows that Copilot can create you an interactive podcast. So if you wanted to learn something on the fly, this is quite like Google's Notebook LM, but of course this one is a little bit different and it's in Copilot. OK, so next, I'm like, hmm, maybe I should actually learn a thing or two about dinosaurs. Believe it or not, they haven't been top of mind for a little while. Hey, Copilot, 
for tomorrow's commute, can you put together a 15-minute podcast with some dinosaur facts that I can remember so I can show up like one of those cool uncles at the birthday party? You got it, Mustafa. I'll get that ready for you right away. Nice. Okay, let's have a listen. Morning. Welcome to your personal podcast about dinosaurs. Here are some cool facts for your nephew's birthday party. What about the name Velociraptor? It means speedy thief. Kids will love that one. Oh, nice. What about the dinosaur with the longest name, Micropachycephalosaurus? Might be hard to remember. The Quetzalcoatlus was the size of a plane. You wouldn't want one of those swooping down for your ice cream. That was really cool, but what they also showcase is the integrations into shopping. So if you ever needed to buy something immediately, it actually has integrations to a lot of merchants that are actually trusted. So if you are having trouble trying to find a specific product, you can literally just ask an AI and it's able to do that for you immediately. Now I need to start buying decorations, get the party gear in, and most importantly of all, I need a present. Copilot makes shopping easier and much less stressful for everything from a new jacket to a perfect toy. I think of it as like your personal concierge, an advisor that you can trust, on your side, doing the research, building the comparisons, offering unbiased advice. It tracks prices and sales across millions of brands and lets you know when there's a great offer that you should take advantage of. As you can see, Copilot searches through our real-time catalog of trusted merchants to find just the right item, in this case, a robot dinosaur. And it's on sale, perfect. Now you can actually purchase in-app from some of the world's biggest and most trusted retailers. Now, something that I also find cool is that we're now getting to that next level of AI where it can see what we are doing. One of the most underrated things I personally believe in AI is vision. Vision models are really rare in terms of applications, but having them on your phone, accessing the camera, allowing them to see what we see is going to be a massive game changer when it comes to using AI in your daily life. And now Copilot actually has vision so we can use it however we like. And with our new mobile app, Copilot can actually see what you see and talk to you about it in real time. So of course I can use it to settle the really important questions in life. Hey Copilot, could you help me group these by say era? Looks like you're working with some dinosaurs. Most of these are from the Mesozoic era, which is divided into three periods, Triassic, Jurassic, and Cretaceous. What's so powerful here is that Copilot can see things changing and react in real time, navigating the world with you. You don't need to explain what you're looking at or what you're trying to do. Copilot just gets it. And so whether you're in the browser or now on your phone, Copilot Vision is the most natural interaction imaginable. All right, so I got the party planned, tons of dino knowledge. I really think this would have been a total mess without Copilot. Brilliant. So next we actually take a look at four key features that are unveiled. One of them being Copilot Deep Research, which is actually really, really cool. As you all know, Deep Research is now one of the features that people now expect. Searching the internet through various pages, doing various tasks is something that is really useful. They also show Copilot pages, being able to use and edit documents. They also show essentially Copilot working in your computer that's basically like an AI assistant like Jarvis. And it's really cool because it can give you advice on the fly and has the ability to see your screen. Overall, these are key, key features that I think are going to really change the game. Okay, so this is how Copilot Deep Research really works. I go to Copilot, I select Deep Research, and I give it a topic. I'm planning a trip to Japan, and I'd love to learn more about the history and culture of matcha. Help me create a travel plan based on that. Cool, so now Copilot will ask me some clarifying questions. We'll go back and forth and agree on a plan. Then it'll spend some time browsing and analyzing sources. I really love that I can see exactly how Copilot is working hard to research the topics that I'm curious about. I get a beautiful data rich report with graphics, tables, and insights that would have taken me days to gather and fact check. It has links to all the references so I know I can trust it. That was really helpful. I didn't even think to visit Uji in Kyoto, but now I will. Now I really need to figure out this apartment situation. I've been putting it off for way too long and it's become extremely stressful. This place is just way too far from work. Help me find an apartment close to the main Microsoft office in Redmond. 
Copilot does all the work I needed to do in the background, searching the web for apartments and finding me nearby storage. This is amazing. I can even have Copilot fill out that tedious form for me now. Perfect, just got a nudge from Copilot that the apartment tour is booked. What else am I procrastinating on? Well, I do have to write that letter to my landlord. Another product feature we're about to roll out is called Copilot Pages. That can definitely help me here. With Pages, you can collaborate with Copilot in real time like an actual back and forth thought partner. I'll start by asking Copilot a question. I live in the Seattle, Washington area and I need to write a letter to my landlord to adjust the terms of the lease. What's the best way to do this to make sure it sounds right? Then I can easily move Copilot's response into a page and from there I can refine it with my own ideas and style. So now I can upload a file directly to Pages and combine the contents of my document with Copilot's response. And then I have the freedom to edit and organize however I want. Copilot Pages enables me to write and refine my thoughts in one dedicated place. That was easy and took no time. Like I was collaborating with a super smart friend. Now I need to sell some of my stuff. I've already taken the photos of the things I wanna sell, but I just need to edit them before I post them. What's really neat about Copilot Vision on Windows is that Copilot can understand beyond just what I say. With my permission, it can see my screen like a second set of eyes. It's my sounding board. And most importantly, it can respond in the context of what I'm seeing on my screen. Copilot, I need to edit this photo. I want to sell this chair and I need it to look good. How do I change the saturation? Don't worry, I got you, Dina. Just create a new adjustment layer down here. Oh, okay. I didn't know that was there. And you can change the saturation with this slider here. Thanks, Copilot. That looks really good. Letter to landlord check, apartment tour booked, photos ready to post, and Japan, here I come. Thank you, Copilot. And a big thank you to everyone there today for joining us. Bye. Oh, it isn't just about the, of course, personal use cases for AI. They actually showcase the agents that are in the work section. So they've got Microsoft 365 Copilot agents that are essentially allowing people to run their businesses a lot more efficiently. And of course, Copilot is going to transform how we work too. This is as much a change in the office as it is in our personal lives. We're bringing state-of-the-art reasoning and problem-solving to our M365 Copilot with the launch of researcher and analyst agents. These agents are remarkable. They analyze vast amounts of information with secure and compliant access to your company's emails, meetings, files, chats, and more to deliver expertise on demand. And now in Copilot Studio, you can create your own custom agents with these very same reasoning capabilities designed to your specification. Working on your company data, you can apply your agents to entirely new ways like better forecasting demand across global markets or optimizing supply chains. Again, this goes way beyond just another tool. This is a productivity revolution. Now, one of the key features that most people won't realize but is honestly game-changing is memory. So they talk about how Copilot is going to be able to remember your past experiences. And I think this is single-handedly the most underrated feature in AI because it enables a deeper level of interaction between you and the AI system. And so today we're taking the very first steps towards rich memory and, and personalization, the very foundations of an AI companion. Chris and Junie's Copilot will of course remember what advice it gave them and how that advice evolved over time as they got more experienced as an awesome dog training duo. Elvira's co-pilot will remember how her and George bond over their shared love of model trains. It will remember all the models in their collection, and it will know all the issues and frustrations that it's helped Elvira to tackle over the years. You'll never need to start over with your personal co-pilot. You can always work from a place of deep understanding based on what you choose to share, from what you like for breakfast to what your big life goals are. And so if I forget a detail about my nephew's birthday party, I can simply ask Copilot and it'll let me know. Copilot clocks that Thursday is date night and that you might want to book something. And if you have a first day at college or a new job, Copilot will check in and let you know you've got this. And it will remember more than just the specific facts of your life. 
It'll get your style. Whether you like a formal good morning or a casual what's up, whether you begin your day with a joke or just a little factoid, you'll always be able to check in on your memories, a beautiful graphical representation that shows everything that Copilot knows about you. You can view and remove any of those memories at any time, you're always in control. Because as we bring Copilot to millions more people every day, we'll protect your privacy and security above all else. Because after all, any relationship is built on trust, and Copilot is no different. So we'll work super hard to earn that trust over and over by constantly listening and improving. Now for an even deeper level of personalization, something that I find to be really cool is the fact that you can actually create your own mascots so that when you're interacting with the AI, it resembles something that you have interest in, which is really cool because everyone wants to interact with a different form of AI or at least a different visually looking AI, which for me is actually really cool. So what if Copilot had an appearance and you could shape and form it to be whatever you want? We're in the very early stages of this thinking and we're still experimenting, but we're super excited about the possibilities. So I wanted to give you a sneak peek into what we're cooking up here. Hey, Copilot. Hey, Mustafa. Oh, uh, wow. This is a lot of people. <laughs> I suddenly feel very underdressed. H hold on, let me just... Oh, yes, this is much better. What's up? Well, I was hoping that you could give everybody a little bit of a glimpse into what we're working on with your appearance and your expressions. Oh, of course. I'd love to. Well, I can transform into anything you want, to something more minimal and abstract. Pretty cool. Okay. Or something inventive, like this. Neat. All right. But I think what I like most is just being able to interact with you in a more fun and familiar way. Was that helpful? Sure, that was great. Perfect. Thank you, Copilot. So look, as you can see, we're having some real fun with this. And look, I know that this isn't going to be for everyone, but we're staying super curious about what might be on the horizon. Because the important thing is that this will be yours. So do you want it to reflect your love of gardening, say? Or maybe your taste in music? How about something a little calming? or maybe something comforting? Or do you have a favorite video game character, for example, like Spyro? Or perhaps some people in this audience might want something a little nostalgic. <laughs> Woo! Whatever floats your boat, we'll work with it. Maybe something entirely out of your imagination. We see the potential for endless possibilities here. And I really think that these co-pilot appearances could be the beginning of a fresh and delightful way for you to make co-pilot truly yours. So let me know what you guys thought about the Copilot event. I honestly thought this was super impressive from Copilot because oftentimes I did think it was just a version of AI that just wasn't that good. But it seems that they're really building out the set of features, the set of unique capabilities, the mascots, the deep research, the vision in a way that actually complements ChatGPT and doesn't actually compete with it. So this is definitely something that I'll probably be using on my computers or my laptops as a way to just, you know, integrate AI into my daily workflow. But I'd love to know your thoughts down in the comment section below. And as always, don't forget to subscribe, like, so you can stay updated with the latest in AI.